I don't know how great this lighting is, but I figured I'd do this downstairs um, to show you guys my baby bag. So this is the Hap brand baby bag. I believe it's called the Levi. Um, I wanted something a little bit smaller that I could just take anywhere that had um, backpack straps. And this thing is just so good. Like it has a back pocket. The straps are nicely padded. It has the side pockets, which is obviously the reason I picked it because personally I like the side pockets for bottles, whether it's for the baby's bottles or my bottles. I like easy access. It comes with this one, this little keychain, and it's just so cute. It just like pulls it all together. But um, this material, um, if you like spill anything on it, whatever it is, it's easy wipeable. So it's not like, you know, like those bags that keep the stains on them and you have to like wash the whole thing. But yeah, I'm so glad I went with this one. So far, I love it. I like that it's not huge, but it's also not like the tiniest backpack ever. So anyways, it sips up, opens up this way. And now I'm going to show you the stuff that I packed in here so that you know what I'm bringing to the hospital. I'm running out of breath so quick with this pregnancy, I swear. So right at the top right here, I have a sipper. Um, right here, I just threw in some, um, I think one or two burp cloths. I think I did two. Um, this is just a, a what is, copper pearl. I got this on Amazon. This is just a black burp cloth. Super simple. Um, I tried to do a lot of things neutral for this baby, like I said, so I didn't want like pinks or blues, pretty much. Um, I got this off my registry, and I'm so glad I put it in there. This is a muslim blanket. We are in a weird weather right now. It's kind of warm, kind of kind of hot, kind of cold in the morning. Um, we're in Vegas, so you know that the hot weather comes very quickly pretty much so today like we're at high 74s but then like two days ago we were at like 40s and 50s so i didn't want to do a thick blanket i wanted something breathable but at the same time a blanket you know because they're gonna need it so i did this one and i like that i did white because it sticks out when you do pictures and things like that and i can do that at the hospital so I have that next I'll go through what's inside my bag first and then I'll show you the, the pouches um, this is the itsy ritzy I've actually had this from before I had it with the things in the back so I could keep it in my car for my kits um, like tissues and things like that and wipes um, but I ended up putting the bumco wipe holder in here and so it actually holds all the wipes in there it's See, it's like a plastic case. Personally, I love this. I love the Bumco stuff, but I'm keeping the Bumco in my actual diaper bag. This is just for the hospital for now, but I'm, I love this thing because you can just like grab it and go. Um, and I'm probably going to keep one of these in my purse as a backup. Then, of course, um, even though the hospital gives you some, I'm bringing some diapers just in case. I am bringing newborn because... Well, all my kids have fit in newborn, so we'll see how this one goes. Um, this one is, and you're going to want this. Um, I don't necessarily need this for the hospital. I just threw it in there because I, I don't want to just throw it in the diaper bag. But this is a little trash bag holder. Like, you know, like when you take your dogs, you pick up their poop. That was a lifesaver with my daughter because she pooped so much when we went out. She would have blowouts. So... We would put one of her clothes, like whatever dirty clothes she got, in the in the bag, put it in the diaper bag, and then we put the dirty diaper in the in the bag and just threw it away. Um, it's just so nice. It comes with a little clip, so you can clip it anywhere. But yeah, this, get one. I think I got mine at Bye Bye Baby. Um, two other things that I might not be using at the hospital, but I wanted to keep in here just in case. Ointment and a butt spread by Bumco. I got one of these for a baby shower, for my daughter's baby shower. And at first I didn't think much of it, but I have nails, okay? 
when you're putting that ointment on there, you get all that ointment under your nails and it is just so bad. So I definitely recommend one of these. This is the little case to go. Sorry, I need to invest in a new camera. Mine keeps like overheating. So I'm trying to like pause in between. Um, next, probably won't use this, but I got this um, diaper rash cream. I just, I love that it was black and white. That was the first reason that caught my eye. But apparently it's a really, really good diaper cream. So I'm actually really glad. I know this is going to be so weird, but um, if you guys have the Yuka app, look up most of the products that you use. It is such a, a big deal. Like, look at this. I just scanned mine. 100% great. Like, this is just amazing. I do this with all my baby products because you don't want to put anything on them that it's not good for them. Um, in fact, I was reading a lot on like the Vaseline and the Aquaphor, which a lot of people use and apparently have really bad things in them, <laughs> which I'm surprised because I use that on my lips. I use that on my face, obviously. So I didn't want to use it on the baby for the, that reason. I just wanted to, you know, do my own thing. So I'm going for this one this time. Um, and again, it fits like the whole black and white aesthetic that I have going on. Um, another thing that I'm bringing is formula, pre-done formula. Um, I'm just bringing two of these because I know my milk takes a couple days to come in. Um, and I don't want the baby to starve just in case. Obviously, if the hospital can give me formula, that'd be great. But I didn't want to risk having the baby lose too much weight by the time we're leaving just because my milk wasn't coming in. Although this time, I feel like my milk will come in on time because my boobs have been feeling like all sorts of weird, which I didn't have in my last pregnancies. So I'm bringing two of these, and of course I have a, a bottle that I just sanitized not that long ago, so I'm actually gonna put it in here, but yeah. Another thing that I'm bringing is this Frida. I got this off my registry as a gift. Um, it plays a white noise, it lights up, has different settings. Um, it like takes apart and you can like hook it up to like the crib or something. It's actually really, really cute. Um, I've never done a, a white noise at the hospital for the baby, but I wanted to see how it goes this time. So I keep it in here just in case. <sighs> okay, now the last things. I have all my pouches. I like to keep my stuff organized. I hate when it's not organized, so don't judge me. But I made this one. So these are actually bags that come pre-labeled. Like these are goodies. And this one I think said like mama's, mama things and stuff like that. Well, I made my own label on that. I just made like a, a little decal sticker and put it on the bottom and just flipped it around so that it's all black, just so that I can know what to do. <laughs> I was going to put it on this side, but it didn't look very good. So anyways, um, these are the accessories. I'm bringing a brush because their hair is a mess at the beginning, especially after they wash it and all that. Um, I brought a little bit of hats and things like that, just in case. I don't know. Um, I brought a passy and this cute little moon that comes with it. Like it's just so, so freaking cute. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to keep things back in its place. But yeah, the brush. Then with the second bag, I have a birth announcement. And of course I have the name, I have the, um, what is it called? The Hello World, you know, when you put their name, their weight, all their stuff. This one came with one of their swaddles, so I brought it just in case. And then I have a Sharpie in there as well because that way you can just write it and fill it out at the hospital. Next one is the going home outfit. So I have pants, shirt, socks, and a, I think like a little hat or bow. I don't know which one it was. But um, pretty much just put it all in one place and I label it going home outfit so that it's ready to go. Um, then I did bring spare clothes just in case. I brought one that's like the kimono style with the buttons because those are the best ones to open up and do skin to skin rather than have the whole baby just naked. That way they're still covered in their back and their arms, but their chest is to your chest. And then I brought a zipper onesie with footies 
because that way I don't have to keep putting socks and stuff on, you know. So two extra outfits just in case. <sighs> my last bag is my swaddles and my uh, my wrap. So this is the wrap. This is the swaddle. Um, Muslim. And then this is like a, that stretchy jersey knit. Um, I also wanted it to kind of match. So in case I wanted to do like a picture or something, they would kind of go together. And I just love that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, well, I, on the side, I have like the little zipper. I have an extra passy in here just in case they don't they don't like the other passy. Um, it's all sanitized and cleaned already, so I'm trying to keep it in its little baggie. Um, and then, of course, I have a hand sanitizer. You just never know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All I have in my diaper bag. Um, and this time around, I went with the Philip Avent ones. I love glass, personally. I think glass is great for babies. Easier to clean, and it's just more sanitized. Um, and this is the one I'm bringing in. I already changed the nipple to the smallest size possible because these apparently come with the size 2 rather than the 1, even though it says 0 months and up. So just be aware of that. But I am bringing that in here. And yeah, that's all I have in my little baby hospital bag. So I hope that was kind of helpful to you in what you want to pack. And just remember, it's better to overdo it than not have enough stuff. Make yourself feel comfortable and bring as much as you want. Don't let anybody else tell you that you don't need it or you won't use it. Okay, have a great day. Bye.